hello guys and welcome back so in the previous video as i have told you that in this video we will be solving the issue with our parkour action so for example if we perform the parkour action on this box as you can see the player moves down to the ground okay the character controller of the player is preventing the player to go on top of the obstacle so we need to type a code in order to fix this okay we will be disabling our character controller when we are performing parkour so for that just simply open up your player script and right here in the player movement we will create a bool by the name of player control okay then after this if we scroll down after this on draw gizmo selected right down below we will create another method by the name of set control and this set control will have a parameter which will be of type pool let's name this as has control okay then in here we will say this dot has control will be equals to the player control so what this means that we will be changing this player control bool and according to the has control now right down below we will say cc or character controller okay we have a reference right here to the character controller so this character controller dot enabled will be equals to has control so if the has control is true then the character controller will be enabled or you can say true and if the has control is false then the character controller will be disabled okay then after this we will create a if condition and we will say that if the has control is not true then what we want to do we want to make the movement value zero let me show you this movement value will be zero when the player is performing any parkour action and the reason we are making that zero is when the player is performing any parkour action then of course the player is not moving so we want this value to be zero okay so we will say animator dot set float and its name is movement value set it to zero and then after this we will say required rotation and this will be equals to transform dot rotation that is it now if we open up our parkour controller script right here at the top first of all we need a reference to our player script okay so we will say public player script let's name this as player script as well and now what we want to do right here is when the player is performing any parkour then we will set this control to true actually when the player is performing any parkour then we will be setting it to false so as i told you that when the player is performing any parkour then the set control will be false because we will not be giving the player any control and if when the player is done performing the parkour then we will set the set control to true okay so now that's why we created a reference to our player script since the set control is on the player script then right down below in the perform parkour action when the player is in action or you can say when performing parkour then we want the set control to be so you will say player script dot set control let's pass false okay to this parameter and then when the player is done performing the parkour then we will set the control to true okay that is it now if we get back to the player script right here at the top by default we will make the player control to true because when we play the game the player should have control okay because when the game is start the player will have control since the player is not performing any parkour action okay 
so make sure that you do that then simply scroll down right here in the update method at the top we will say if the player doesn't have any control so you will say if the player control is false okay then we will simply say return so that no, all this code is not executed okay but we just want the player movement to be executed so we will move this at the top right here now after this one changes now we want to make in our set control method is instead of the has control telling the player control to be true or false now we will make the player control to tell the has control if it is true or not okay so make sure that you do that change now if we get back to unity right here on the player game object make sure that you provide the player script in the parkour controller script reference okay and then after that let's go ahead and play the game now right here if we try to perform parkour on this object as you can see the player go on top of the object but the player then just simply falls inside the obstacle as you can see and if we try to perform parkour on this one as you can see the parkour action is a little bit messed up so what we want to do now right here is first of all stop the game then click on animation and let's select the running jump animation and right here right here as you can see for the position why we make this back into post so remove this checkbox okay and click apply and then let's go ahead and play the game and now if we walk towards the obstacle now let's try to perform the park correction now as you can see the player is jumping on top of the obstacle okay so let's do it again as you can see but if you notice there is a little bit issue with the player feet okay the player feet gets inside the obstacle okay but we will be fixing that when we add target matching to our project okay so in the upcoming videos we will be working on target matching and all of these issues will be fixed